Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro, welcome back to Mr. Weasel Art and today we're gonna talk about the RGB color model and also one of its uh, alternative variants known as the HSV so remember to leave a like, subscribe and let's go! Alright, so here on the screen we have uh, three main colors which are uh, the red, uh, the green and the blue and basically that's what means RGB red, green and blue. This color model actually works by the addition of colors and it's based on the wavelength of uh, light. So, for example, if you shine a green, a green light on a uh, dark wall, uh, something like what we have here, let me delete these arrows, and then over it you shine a uh, red light, so the addition, the, the superimposition of the uh, wavelengths is, is going to uh, generate a yellow light, uh, such as the one that we have here between the green and the red one. So the addition of these colors depend on the intensity of these uh, three primary colors. So here we have pure green, pure red and pure blue. So if I change, for example, the, the intensity of this blue right here, let me put something a little bit darker. Let me see something like this which is still the same blue but darker then we'll have a different result here we have a color which is something more like a pink and here we have another uh, something be uh, between blue and green which is not cyano anymore and the combination of the three gives me something as a really light uh, yellow so I'm going to get back here and we can see that when we combine the three pure colors, we have a complete white right here in the middle. And the combination between uh, blue and green gives me cyano, uh, between blue and red gives me magenta, and there's another uh, color model which is called the CMYK, which stands for cyano, magenta, yellow and K means black. So this other color model is actually used when you are mixing uh, pigments, when you are painting something or on your printer, something like that. While the RGB uh, color model is used on uh, things such as monitors and things that emit uh, light. And also another difference between the CMYK model and the uh, RGB is that the CMYK is subtractive while the RGB is additive as we can see here. Uh, but we're not going to talk about the CMYK in this video. Alright, but now uh, moving on, there's another thing that I want to uh, show you here. I want you to pay attention not to this part yet, but to these uh, numbers here. Uh, which represent the, gr uh, the red, the green and the blue colors. So I'm going to pick up the, the blue color. This, is, uh, this one is uh, pure blue. So uh, these numbers, they vary from 0 to uh, 255. Uh, and if I, if I have a pure blue, so the other colors, the red and green, they are going to be at zero. So the intensities of these colors are going to be zero and the blue is going to have a, a maximum intensity. So if I take the green, you'll see that it's this pure green. So we have uh, uh, the same thing, but the number now is on the green color and the same thing uh, happens for red. So if I want uh, for example, let's get to the uh, let's get back to the blue here. If I want to get this blue uh, uh, darker, so pure blue but darker. So what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to d decrease this number. So uh, let's put a hundred for example. So you see that it, it's a lot darker now, 50, uh, even darker. And if I put it, if I go to zero, if all uh, the three colors are z uh, are in zero. It means that basically uh, they are uh, they are not turn uh, they are not on anymore. They are all off. So it means that we'll have uh, black, which is uh, no light at all. But now, if I increase uh, these uh, three pure uh, colors to their maximum intensities, we'll end up having what we have here: the white color. As you can see, the three are at 255, and we reach. Uh, white and basically you can create a great range of colors 
by uh, combining uh, these uh, three together. As you can see uh, here, I'm just moving uh, the cursor around so you can see that the color changes and they are all a result of the combination of these three. For example, if I want to create this orange uh, uh, that we have here, it, it can be represented by an intensity of 255 on the red color and 106 uh, for the green color. And But if I put the green to its maximum, we will end up having uh, yellow. The same thing that we have here between the green and the red, which is the combination of pu uh, pure uh, green and pure red, it's going to give me uh, this uh, pure uh, yellow. All right, and now there's another thing that I want to show you, which is, I think, uh, something really helpful, especially if you are a digital artist, which is another, another way to look at the uh, RGB color model. So let's talk about the HSV color model, which is basically the same thing, but uh, we, we get to it uh, by a, a different uh, approach. So HSV stands for a hue, saturation and value. So the first thing that we need to pay attention to here is the color wheel. So the color wheel, as you can see here, is composed by our uh, three uh, main colors from the RGB color model and their uh, mixtures in between. So between the red and the green, we have all of their uh, mixtures uh, with uh, different uh, intensities. And the same thing uh, goes for the colors between uh, green and blue and also between blue and red. And the color wheel is represented by degrees as you can see right here. So at 0 degrees we have a red, at 120 we have green, 240 we have blue, and 360 or 0 again we, we are back again at red. So the difference in degrees between these three colors is actually 120 degrees between uh, each. So when we are walking around the color wheel like this, we are basically changing uh, the hue. And one thing that you might notice is that in some softwares you won't have a color wheel like this. You, uh, you'll actually have a horizontal bar uh, which starts at the red color and it also ends at the red color and it means that uh, you uh, basically uh, completed a, a, the full uh, wheel, you completed a, the full circle going from uh, 0 degrees to uh, 360, which is basically the same, same thing. But I need to get back to the uh, RGB uh, uh, mode just to show you one thing. Here we are in red, okay, and here we have uh, green, uh, pure green. So if I start to walk away from red and, and, and I start to get closer to green, you'll see that the value of green is increasing, but the value of red is not decreasing actually, as you can see here. So it increases until we reach the maximum level of both, which is basically the, the color yellow, which is around here. So then we reach a uh, full uh, yellow like this and from this point uh, forward uh, the red color will start to uh, lose its intensity so then we'll get pure uh, green we'll reach a point where we we have only pure green and the same uh, thing applies from uh, the colors in the color wheel here uh, between uh, green and blue so you'll see that the blue value now is increasing, it re reaches a maximum around here, and then, it's, and then the green value starts to decrease. The same thing between blue and red. Now red is increasing, and now blue is, de is decreasing. So you get back uh, to uh, red again, basically. So what you're actually doing when you are changing uh, uh, the hue is you are changing the amount or the proportion of uh, the colors that are being uh, added together uh, following the direction of the color wheel uh, from uh, red to green, green to blue and blue to red again or also the opposite direction and that's 
uh, one of the reasons why it is uh, represented in uh, angle. So now let's talk a little bit about the saturation levels and uh, you'll find some definitions uh, which say uh, uh, saturation is how uh, strong, how vivid or how present a color is. I think they are uh, kind of okay, but I think they miss uh, some aspects and I want to show you here. Uh, here we have a, a red color with a full saturation at 100, 100% as you can see here. So I'll start to decrease its saturation. As you can see it is decreasing and you see the red color it starts to become more like a, a pink a soft pink and then it becomes completely white so it's like you had uh, at 100 percent saturation a full red vivid color and in white you don't have that color anymore but when we analyze the RGB scale, you can see that we still have the red color. What we did here when we uh, saturated uh, the red color is I just added up uh, the green and the blue. As you can see here, if I add green, blue and red, I'll have at the end com a complete white. So that's what happens when I change the saturation. As you can see here, uh, it's around 50 here we still have the red and we have the other two colors and if I go to 0% uh, saturation here you'll see that I still have the red but I added up uh, the other two colors at, at, the, at, at their full intensities so I think saturation is something more like how much a color can stand out by uh, itself or something like that actually. Another really important aspect about the saturation is that there's always a main hue and what it means is for example here I'm in uh, red as you can see and whenever I walk along a horizontal line on this triangle if I'm completely horizontal I'm only changing the saturation and nothing else so as you can see here so if I go uh, and here and analyze the uh, RGB directly you'll see that I'm closer to red in this case I'm in right above red and the other two colors are gonna uh, change their levels and the same thing goes if I'm in orange because orange is actually closer to red so red is not gonna change the same thing goes for uh, uh, something like closer to green so this is a yellow but a yellow which is closer to green so the green is at its maximum level and it's not gonna change if I change the saturation if I'm in yellow which is the perfect combination between a uh, green and red then the only color that is going to change is going to be the blue uh, color and that also happens even if we are not in these uh, let's say purest colors if I'm here you can see that in the hue I'm closer to green green should be something around here around uh, 120 degrees so I'm closer to 120 degrees which represents green than to zero degrees which uh, represents red so it means that the green uh, intensity here is not going to change as you can see it's going to be around 150 uh, actually it's going to be exactly at 150 and the other two are going to are going to change when I decrease the, the saturation so here I'm going to put 30% saturation and you see that green is still 150 and when I decrease uh, the whole saturation to zero all of the colors all of the other two colors the red and the blue are going to get to the level of green which is 150 so that's what happens when you when you change the saturation you actually walk along uh, a horizontal line now let me get back to the red color and now let's talk a little bit about uh, the value uh, part so value is something that actually is really important it's uh, so important that it became a thing on its own actually in the studies of art 
So in art, when you talk about value and a painting, drawing, that kind of stuff, we are talking about black, uh, white, and all of the shades of gray in between. So you can uh, create a really a realistic, uh, complex uh, image only using uh, values. It would be something like a uh, black, uh, black and white uh, photograph or something like that. And when we talk about value on the HSV, uh, or in other words, in a complete uh, uh, color scale, we are basically talking all about how light or dark a color is. So if you have completely unsaturated colors, as we have here, you walk along this uh, gray uh, line going from white to black and if you have a color you are just going to uh, get it darker or uh, lighter and one thing which is really different from the saturation uh, scale here is that saturation it it's always horizontal as you can see if I put here uh, uh, my selection of color if I decrease the saturation you can see that it goes uh, horizontally but when we talk about value, uh, we are always talking about uh, lines which are pointing uh, radially from the uh, darkest point, which is here in, in the black color. So if I'm here and I want to change only the value, so this uh, uh, color selection is going to move towards the direction of this uh, black point right here, as you can see it's going towards that direction if I put it here it's going to be it's going to do the same thing so the value lines there they come out uh, radially from uh, this uh, point right here actually and they also change as you can see right here if I only change the value they also change the uh, hue uh, scale as you can see it starts to become uh, darker and darker uh, as I get closer to the uh, darkest point uh, until I get here and everything uh, everything becomes uh, completely black and now that I talked a little bit about value I want to show you just a quick example like something a little bit random but just to review uh, the things uh, that we saw here so I'll pick a random color like this one I don't know here so it has a certain degree in hue, it has a saturation, uh, which is not 100%, and it also has a value, which is not 100% either, so it's between being uh, fully lit and, and dark, so it's more light than dark, uh, maybe I can say that. So if I, if I want to unsaturate this color, and I look at here at the uh, d directly at the RGB values. I can see that uh, in the hue scale uh, here, I'm closer to red. So the red uh, a number is not going to change uh, because the other two values are going to uh, increase until they reach the same uh, number or the same uh, intensity as red. So things are going to become uh, gray so let me unsaturate like this and now you see that all of them have uh, the same intensities so the reason for that is as we saw before when we mix uh, when we add green red and blue we will end up with white but if all of them they are not in the same uh, in their full uh, intensities we will end up uh, in one of the uh, shades of gray that's what happens so if I walk along the value line like this now you'll see that all of the uh, three colors they change uh, equally so that's what happens so if I go here and now if I increase the saturation uh, I'll see that I'll walk along this horizontal line and the color is going to become let's say more orange but it's going to be darker than what we had in the beginning and also I already know that uh, by analyzing the the hue I know that here my selection is closer to red so 
the number that I see or the intensity that I see here in uh, in the color red is going to stay where it is and the other two are gonna change so let's increase the saturation now like this I don't want to uh, move the cursor directly with uh, uh, the mouse because uh, I might end up changing uh, the value uh, also and not only the saturation so now as you can see I change the saturation the red stayed where it was and the green and blue colors change so let me get back to red right here 100 100 so by combining the hue saturation and value you can basically create uh, any color that you need uh, to create your uh, digital painting and you can also do that by choosing a color on the RGB uh, with using the RGB uh, numbers but I uh, myself as an artist I prefer to uh, choose using uh, the hue and then adjusting uh, how light and dark it is and and how saturated or unsaturated the color is so if I want this uh, if I want a green which is kind of between uh, uh, sorry a color which is uh, a green but closer to yellow something a little bit different I can go here and then uh, I want this a little bit more unsaturated and also a little bit darker so I go in this direction uh, right here all right I got this uh, uh, different uh, green just a quick example all right so i hope i could uh explain everything uh well uh if you want to uh, see how to transform a cube that represents rgb and its mixtures uh into a cylinder uh, that represents the hsv you can search it on the internet there are a lot of good images uh in wikipedia uh there are some good uh diagrams that show how you have the RGB cube, you tilt it and you project the dots and you create the cylinder that shows the uh, HSV scale and how they relate to each other basically. So that's it for today, I hope you liked the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, if you have any questions or any suggestions remember to comment uh, down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram at mr.weasel.art Check out my uh, other videos too and that's it for today. See you next time. Bye!